here where we're getting where we're getting 63. <clears throat> so now we want to get rid of the 7. So to do that, I will divide both sides by 7. So here I'm left with R, and here I'm left with 9. Any questions here? No questions? Okay. So remember, we are always doing the opposite. If we're subtracting, let's add. If we're multiplying, let's divide. Now, it is important to remember the order, right? You can't just subtract by 7 first when there is still 8, right? So you need to first isolate the R, and then you can work on the R itself. Now, let's take a look at this. Um, here, when you take a look, you have just more complex sides. Both of them are a bit more complex, but uh, the rules are pretty much the same. So what you're going to do is basically try to work on these. So we need to collect like terms. What does it mean? We'll combine variables like t with uh, each other and non-variables like 7, 6, constants, whatever, together. So let's try working on that. 3t plus 2t, it's 5t. And negative 7 minus 6, it's negative 13. Equals 4t minus 6 t, it's negative 2t plus 2. So that's a bit more clear now. But still, I have t on both sides, variables on both sides. What do I do? Now, you want to move the right stuff to uh, each other, right? So t should be with t, and the variable numbers should be with numbers. So this t, because it's negative 2t, I can think about it as, oh, let's add 2t. Right? So here they cancel out. And here... I have just 7t. And similarly, oh, let's rewrite it. Just 2. Now I can add the 13. So that gives us, this gives us 15. Right? And now we can finally divide. Right? And the answer would be pretty weird. t equals 15 over 7. But that's okay. That's what uh, you're getting. Any questions here? No questions? Okay, so let's move on to the next one. Da, 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 da. Now, you can solve the equation. Check your answer. So what you could do is go back and sub in. So checking just allows you to make sure that you did everything correctly, right? So I think this step would be good. You can either go here or you can go to the very, very beginning and sub everything in. So 3 times 15 over 7 minus 7 minus 6 plus 2 times 15 over 7 equals 4 times 15 over 7 plus 2 minus 6 times 15 over 7. A bit tedious, but that's okay. So here, 3 and 2 will factor out. So 5 times 15 over 7 minus 11. Negative 2, 15 over 7 uh, plus 2. Right, so now we could do some math here. Uh, yeah, let's go. So what is it? It is uh, 75 divided by 7 minus 11. And here it's, what is it? It's negative 30 over 7 plus 2. Now we could say, oh, 11 is the same as 77 over 7. And here, 2 is the same as 14 over 7. Uh, correct here. Is it correct or not correct? Wait.
I think we're slightly off. Wait, why is that? Let's see. Oh, sorry, it's not 11, it's 13. My bad. It's 13. So this one is uh, still over 7, so it's 13 times 7, 91. Yep, 91 here. So, so you have to be careful with your typos. And here, what we are getting, we are getting negative 16 over 7. And here the same negative 16 over 7. So if you prove, you know, if you basically sub in all your values, simplify, 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 and you get the same answer for on both sides, then that's, uh, that's uh, basically, it means that your solution was correct. You have to be careful with single calculations, right? Not to make any mistakes here, but other than that, it's all good. Any questions? No questions? Let's check the next one. Here, first we have to get rid of other terms. So let's get rid of the nine. So 3t negative 13 minus nine. 3t equals what is that? That is uh, negative 21. t equals negative 7. Questions? No? So first get rid of regular numbers, right? Add them, subtract. Then have your uh, you know, t isolated by either dividing, multiplying, depending on the case. Here, if you see something like that, before you try to simplify, you need to rearrange it, connect numbers with numbers and variables with variables. So I'm sending this here and this here. That's a shortcut, right? When you think, when you look at something like that, you can say, I'm moving it to the other side. I'm sending it over. But when I do that, you have to remember that you change the sign, okay? It only works for addition and, excuse me, and subtraction. So if it's negative six, I'm sending it over. So it becomes plus six make it colorful and here I'm sending it over so it's 2x plus 3x right so I change my color and I move over <clears throat> with division and subtraction it works somewhat similar but they swap so division becomes multiplication and multiplication becomes division that's the idea so here and I saw they were getting we have it in 14 uh, equals 5x <clears throat> So 14 over 5 equals x. Sometimes students ask, is it okay if x is on the right? It is. It doesn't really matter. Equation is an equation, regardless of which side is which. But conveniently, usually we have the variable on the left and a number on the right. But it's not a mistake if you swap them. Okay, let's move on to the next one. <clears throat> so here, the same pattern. You want to get rid of the numbers first and then leave this uh, and work around that. Now, this is the ne a negative in here. So you might be, oh, can we move it to the other side? And the answer is yes, we can. But let's stick to this method and then I'll show you the next one. So let's say we're subtracting 5. So I have negative 1 minus 7, 19 minus 5. Then I'm multiplying by 7 or by negative 7 because it doesn't really matter where this negative is. Right? It could be here, it could be there. Let's do mi minus 7 first, negative by 7. So it's 14 times 7. Okay, so because I'm dividing here, I'm multiplying both sides by that. Right? I can make it in a different color. Even though it's so tempting to cancel out like that, it is not the case. So you have to be careful. These cancel out. And this is your answer. What would that be? 14 times 7. It's uh, 90, 98, I'm getting at. Okay, so negative y equals 98. And then the negative, you can just assign it to the other side. Or technically, you can multiply by negative 1 or divide by negative 1. 
equals negative 98. And the questions here. No questions? Okay. So, another method would be to move this. Let me maybe show you again. Move this first and this at the same time. So I'm having something like, oh, 5 minus 19 equals positive y over 7. <clears throat> so now I'm getting negative 14 equals y over 7. And then I multiply times 7. And then I'm getting negative 98 equals y, not y. Sometimes it's faster, but it kind of depends on you how quickly you want to solve it. It's not that uh, much of a difference. Both are correct. And the last one. Let's move it around a little bit. So here, the same problem, but now with fractions. And we don't really care whether it's a fraction or not. We can just uh, get the uh, values right away. So how to do that? We combine like terms with not like terms. Let's first combine them on, on one side. So we have 2 and 10, that's 12. The negative y plus y over 2, it's negative y over 2. Right, you can think about negative one and plus half, negative one half. Equals three y two y, that's five y minus seven over three. 